हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग डेल्टा एक्स एग्जाम और एनी ऑन कैंपस और ऑफ कैंपस टाइप इफ यू हैव क्वेश्चंस लाइक व्हाट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस डेल्टा एक्स आर आस्किंग इन दिस डेज एंड व्हाट टाइप ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस दे विल आस्क एंड व्हेन विल आई रिसीव द इंटरव्यू रिजल्ट और व्हेन विल आई रिसीव द फर्स्ट राउंड रिजल्ट एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा देन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू सो लेट मी डिस्कस ऑल ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट देन लेट मी गिव द आंसर्स ऑफ दोस क्वेश्चंस एट द एंड ओके so let me discuss 10 premium mcq questions from the important topic data structures algorithms dbms operating system computer networks oops and c with answers and explanations okay so let me discuss all of this one by one just before that guys make sure that you have subscribed this channel and watch the playlist regarding any question that you want and please share this content with your friend and do like and comment down which content you want more so that i can share the more like more questions like that okay so uh, the first question is this which data structure is most suitable for implementing recursion and this question was asked multiple times so actually uh, there will be total 50 mcq questions from technical mcq right technical subject so you have to be prepared for that very well it will impact on your direct selection process okay that means if you solve 45 mcq questions rightly and if you solve out of 5 coding questions if you solve out of 5 3 coding questions then it will be like a good marks so please try to solve at least 45 mcq questions and prepare with the best uh, materials okay so if you are preparing the if you are preparing the previous set questions na then you will get almost all common questions why because they are repeating the questions so which data structure is most suitable for implementing recursion that is stack why because let's say this is the stack okay and let's say fung uh, c and blah 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 and here we are returning the fung c plus 1 okay so this function when it will uh, like when it will call itself the current state will be stored inside the stack okay the current state of this function will store at this function then the then this incremented value of this function will be executed in the next iterations in this way the current state of that function will be keep storing here and then after executing it will be adding all the values or subtracting all the values or just performing all those operations then it will be returning the value okay so the next question is let me so that is regarding the time complexity of a binary search in a sorted array of n elements so let's say the values are 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and this is the sorted array you have to find time complexity and how you should know that how binary search works that is at first let me take one more at first it will find the let's say this is the element you have to find okay at first it will find the middle element if this middle element is present then it will return directly that means on that time the time complexity is big of 1 this is the best uh, best scenario okay best case scenario but what happens in general if this is the value you have to find then the middle element is 4 that means this is not our desired element so in that case it will check if the desired element is greater than this or lesser than this if the desired element is lesser than the middle element then it will uh, fix the left pointer to left pointer to the first one okay first element and the right element right pointer will be shifted from last element to middle minus 1 okay middle minus 1 so this way it will keep finding the elements okay so that's why uh, the time complexity will be log n okay big o of log n and uh, if we if in case we need to find all the element one by one in that case the time complexity would be big o of n okay and that could be worst case scenario okay i hope you understood so let me go to the next question that is 
this which sql clause is used to remove duplicate rows from a result set unique distinct group by delete i hope you know still i'll give the answer but before that guys i want you to have the prime materials of del text in which you will get all the recent questions with answers all the previous questions and coding questions like interview preparations everything interview preparation means all the questions with answers so you can see technical questions coding problems interview preparations free mock tests are there so please have this like students are telling these they're giving good feedbacks five stars to us and also if you purchase this then it will take uh, like it will look like this uh, at first the question and their template answers are provided okay so just go through that and i hope you will get a higher package okay so uh, the link will be given in the description box topmate.io slash technologies please go through that and have that materials so the current answer will be which uh, okay distinct element okay that means if you want to remove the duplicate rows from a result set then you have to use distinct uh, keyword select distinct uh, let's say column name column one select distinct column one from table name okay so this is the syntax you have to use to remove the duplicate rows from a table okay i hope you understood so let me go to the next question that is this in acid properties i stands for what indexing isolation integrity or initialization uh what's the full form of acid property guys atomicity then consistency isolation durability okay atomicity means once a transaction is created that should be treated as a single unit consistency means uh, the transactions after created it should be considered consistent in the system okay and no break in between would be allowed isolation means you can see ensures concurrent transactions do not interfere and durability means it should be compatible it should be okay with all the systems okay the transaction should be okay with the all the transactions uh, other transactions should be okay with all systems okay so acid uh, like in isolation is the answer for i okay which scheduling algorithm may cause starvation round robin first come first serve shortest job next priority schedule priority scheduling the answer is for option d low priority processes can be starved if high priority process processes keep arriving okay which protocol is used to send emails so this is very important in terms of del text exam yeah like regarding the protocol they are asking a lot of questions the networking uh like what is the function of http what's the function of ftp what's the function of FS smtp you have to know all of this right so ftp is used to transfer files right smtp is used to send the mails okay and for like imp or what was that imap it is used to receive the mails okay let me just uh, like take the answers from you guys what is http used for like what is the answer like what's the answer for that okay so this will be a quick question for you please give the answer in the comment section which of the following is not an oops concept encapsulation inheritance polymorphism or compilations obviously if you have basic understanding then you can answer this encapsulation inheritance polymorphism these are the uh like one of the fourth pillar of the oops concept so compilation is the exception so it is the answer it is not a part of oops concept okay what is the fourth part of oops concept please give the answer in the comment section what is the function overloading multiple functions with same name but different parameters multiple functions with same name and same parameters multiple functions with different names but same parameters or function calling itself what is function overloading that is i hope you know let's say this is the class a and here one function called let's say f1 having a parameter a let's say b and there is something and here one function is there 
सेम नेम सेम नेम नंबर ऑफ पैरामीटर्स आर सेम ओके टाइप ऑफ द पैरामीटर्स कैन बी सेम कैन बी डिफरेंट ओके बट देयर फंक्शन विल बी डिफरेंट ओके दैट मीन्स अ डेटा टाइप विल बी डिफरेंट कैन बी सेम एज वेल कैन नॉट बी सेम ओके सो नंबर ऑफ पैरामीटर्स कैन बी डिफरेंट लेट से ए बी सी सी बी ए नंबर ऑफ पैरामीटर्स विल बी डिफरेंट बट द नेम विल बी द सेम एंड दे विल बी ट्रीटेड डिफरेंटली इफ वी यूज द करस्पॉन्डिंग नंबर ऑफ पैरामीटर्स और टाइप्स ऑफ पैरामीटर्स ओके सो वट इट डाज मल्टीपल फंक्शन विथ सेम नेम बट डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स मल्टीपल फंक्शन आई थिंक द फर्स्ट वन इज द आंसर ओके सो लेट मी चेक या मल्टीपल फंक्शन विथ सेम नेम बट डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स ओके वट इज द आउटपुट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सी कोड दट इज let me give the answer a is equal to 5 it is initialized so what students make mistake here what students make mistake that is a plus plus right so a plus a was 5 in case of uh, increment pre increment or post increment what happens for post increment the value of a yields first a yields first then it will be added in the ex expression later so then it is increased to 6 then plus then plus plus 1 so that means the a now becomes 7 okay so now 5 plus 7 it becomes 12 so will it print 12 students actually make mistakes here they pick the value 12 but what is the problem is that they, it will throw an unhandled exception error unhandled behavior or unhandled exception error okay why because uh because it will not be able to detect which value should we take okay this value or this value inside the expression inside this bracket inside the printf function it is confused to take which value should we take okay so that's the thing you have to know the expression modifies a more than once between define uh, modifies a more than once between sequence points sequence points means this okay the end of this bracket which is undefined in c output is compiler dependent okay which of the following is true about malloc in c that is allocates memory on compile time or run time this cannot be possible uh, the answer will be option 2 b okay allocates memory at run time i hope you understood guys so this much of discussion i had to do about the questions so let me give you some important insights about that which i have like talked about earlier that is after you have given the technical assessment then you will receive the mail for interview after let's say 2 weeks within 2 weeks okay what happens let's say from one campus 90 to 95 students are giving the exam only 3 to 4 are selected okay For like out of 90 to 95 total uh, like let's say 20 to 25 students are getting selected for the interview but among this among those only 3 to 4 candidates are getting selected okay so after the technical assessment within 2 weeks you are getting two weeks or three weeks you are getting the interview mail and after that it will depend on the business demand they'll give you the selection mail okay so i hope this much of discussion is enough for today's session so let me just end the session again i'm requesting you to have the prime materials of geltex or any company that you want i hope you will consider as the successful candidates got it so you can also take it okay so thank